What did you do? I fucked up. What did you do? Instead of the ATP, we will be live or whatever. I it was us? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> whatever. Let's look. Complicated. There you go. I gave you the gift. I put the chat. That one's good. I think it's from reality? It better be good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tie me up, bitch! Damn, is that real? Is that a camel? Yeah, I think so, dude. It looks like a giraffe. It's a camel, dude. Man, that camel owned that giant yeah. swing? <laughs> <laughs> he barely missed the wall. Oh my god, that would be so funny. Dude, wall wall damage? <laughs> Holy crap. That is a crazy gift. <laughs> the guy's like holding his head after like, what the hell happened? Who are it's those two guys? Is that you and your amigo? Yeah, dude. What Me and my fuck? cousin. Quit fucking with that camel. <laughs> we get wrecked. That camel's a dick, dude. <laughs> He's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make that bigger. Uh, they probably won't see it because the screen's all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Internet? I didn't feel like doing the fade out today. That camel gif was legit. I like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, it's Thursday. You're watching ATP Live. My name's Eris, and I'm joined by Rip. What's up, Rip? What's up, dude? Um, I'm doing all right. We, you may have noticed, first of all, that the main man isn't on the show. He was supposed to be on the show this week, but he let me know like a couple days ago that he has to work. So that's postponed. Uh, I don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, but we'll figure that out when it happens. Either way, uh, the show must go on, as well as... I, uh, you may have noticed that Rixta is making a dumb face, uh, dumber than usual. That's because he also couldn't make it, so we're flying, uh, I guess, not solo, but the two of us. Hey, I'm getting an echo, Rip. What's up with that shit? You must have it open in your website or something? Can you no, open no, no. Website? I'm getting an echo, like, from your end, I think. Don't make a don't make baby eyes. What does that face mean? Here, hold on. I'll mute, I'll mute my mic, and then you this is the, my favorite episode so far. I am really enjoying this right now. Internet, I think, I think my pants are getting tighter. I'm so happy right now. This is perfect. This is perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so, Internet. So that was working. Oh, I, was about to get, I was about to get started. I muted my mic. Yeah, I know. Did you hear the echo? That was my favorite part of the show. Oh, you dickhead. That's <laughs> what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, this weekend is Master Cup. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Master Cup is, it is a giant tournament that is held in Japan. It's a five-on-five -five team tournament that's annual, happens every year, and uh, it's huge. I think I heard there are 900 registered Tekken players for this weekend's tournament. Nine wow. zero zero. So this is a giant, giant tournament. It's a huge event in Japan, and thankfully, you know it, your hero, Markman, has your backs. He flew all the way to Japan and he's doing an American stream for everyone who is not Japanese and doesn't like Nico Nico or whatever the fuck it is. So you guys, if you're interested in watching Master Cup, it's available on Twitch. The channel is going to be twitch.tv slash Tekken. T-E-K-K-E-N. That's it. And uh, I think, if I'm, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on the time, but I think it's at 11 p.m. November 1st. Around that time. Uh, I think that's West Coast time. But I'm not 100% okay. sure. If I'm wrong about that, I apologize. But it's somewhere this weekend. Keep your eye on that uh, channel if you want to check out those matches. Um, it's definitely a spectacle. For those of you who haven't kept up with the series, there have been some really incredible matches, that, especially towards the end of the tournament. I mean, 900 people, they're not all going to be good teams. But at the end, the cream of the crop comes out, and it really usually turns out to be a really great uh, tournament for Tekken players. So definitely check that out if you get the opportunity. Uh, Do we know if there's a Korean team going? Yeah, there is a Korean team going. I don't remember who's on it, but I think there's a Korean team. On top of that, Riksta, who isn't here right now, and he would be a very important asset for this conversation, but mm -hmm. he told me that there is a team of Japanese combo makers entering. And on that team is Theater 10. Whoa. Uh, yeah, uh, STL. Uh, oh my god, I seriously? Think, yeah, Manga Munga, Pio Pio, like these legends. What? Like these guys that make the... 
these are the guys that make the combo vo videos that everyone watches and goes, well, this game's kind of whack. Those guys. The Can guys you imagine that, they do that shit in tournaments? That's what I'm saying. These guys usually make their combo videos via programmable stick, though. So I don't know. I don't know Maybe how they'll that's bring work. the programmable sticks. You know, uh, Theater 10 is uh, famous for carrying a uh, camera on his crotch. You know, that he used oh, to... Oh, right. Yeah, that's yeah. him. So maybe he'll play the tournament with a crotch cam and <laughs> see his hands the whole time. I don't he know. He it himself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool. Uh, lots of really famous players are going to enter, of course. You know all the heavy hitters are going to be there. So it's something that I think people will want to watch. So if you're interested, keep your eyes out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Tekken. Uh, that's one thing I wanted to cover, but we have a couple other interesting topics. But before we move on, there's nothing I forgot, right, Rip? Master no. Cup, all that shit. November 1st. Yeah, 11 yeah. PM 11 p.m. I, I, as far that's as our, I know, yes. I, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm not 100 percent on the time, but that's approximately when it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Next topic. So uh, this week, I noticed I was I was casually browsing the Twitter and Stalking me. did my camera just break? I can't see you. I think my camera just broke. I don't even know why. Why did my camera just break? Uh, it doesn't like your face. I'm doing a spell. I'm casting a spell right now in the camera. Hey, can you talk for a second while I fix it? Sure. Okay, just, just you know, say something. Talk to yeah, Tom well, Brady. <laughs> talk to Tom Brady. Small talk with Tom Brady and Rip. What a god! Uh, it's my favorite MLG moment of all time. I thought uh, it was gonna be a tight ass tournament. Was your favorite moment? No. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be a tight ass tournament. Esports. Yeah. Esports. <laughs> Esports. Okay, talk. Oh, you didn't fix it yet? No, I'm still fixing it. Wow, you look retarded on there. Dude. I'm Your back, hands I'm all back. Stuck out? Now okay. I got the green, green cam. Cool, man, okay. cool. All right. Green cam is good. Yeah, it's good. This announced Avengers 2. They had a little trailer and another clip came out today. Avengers cool 2, huh? Yeah, Age right. of Ultron. Mm -hmm. I think people are excited about that. I watched Avengers yeah. 1. I also watched, uh, I told you already, but I watched X-Men Future Days of Past. Mm -hmm. so it was pretty cool. But I'm a sucker for time travel, so. You also watched the team. other one. Day of... Uh, Day of Edge, Edge of, of Day, tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Both of them are time travel related, so I don't know. I feel like I got a soft spot. Back to the Future is my favorite, but yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Neither here nor there. You fucking camera. Did what it freeze the again? Fuck yeah! It's such a piece <laughs> of shit, dude. I'm not even touching it. It's on its own, just by itself. Hey, what's your microphone? Uh, oh, it's on your headset. But yeah, when it's you on stream, my head. usually, what is it? It's the camera. It is so. It's the camera is usually your microphone as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that I mean, that's at least a good thing that you have a different mic at least. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd lose both. Yeah. Yeah. That'd exactly. be really awkward for me. <laughs> well, you'll be okay. <laughs> you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, what the? F did it break again? Okay, it didn't break again. This thing's. Such oh a piece man, you look shit. stupid that time too. That was funny. You look fucking stupid every time. <laughs> Fuck you. I look great. <laughs> I look like yeah, especially bucks. when you're green. Yeah. Yeah, I, li I like it. I like the green hue. This is you if you're on a dollar bill. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, you never know. One day I'll be a politician. Anyway, <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about? Uh, how you're stalking me on Twitter? Okay, so I was stalking you on Twitter, and I was also stalking Keats on Twitter, mm -hmm. and I realized that you and Keats were getting into an interesting conversation related to uh, creating content for fighting games, and. I didn't really browse too much on it, but I thought I'd hit you up about it because I caught a few key arguments between the two of you. And I want just give us the paint us the picture of the general gist of the conversation and then I'll chime in. What's the what's going on over there with Keats and you? Okay, so basically Keats had a tweet and he mentioned something about how, you know, you know, people are creating content for Killer Instinct, but it's really not polished. And he, he thinks that now is the time for content creators to step it up and basically create more polished content. So instead of having a 15 minute video where you know you just sit there and you talk about whatever, whatever, you know, you should edit it and like put text overlays on the key moments, you know, make cut it down so it's a five minute video instead of a 15 minute video. And he thinks that would be better for the Killer Instinct community. And so okay. I chimed in. Did you want me to keep going? You want yeah, to go I want to hear the story. Tell me, uh, okay. I'll, I'll walk in when the time's right. Yeah, so then I basically, you know, replied back and said, like, look, uh, I understand where you're coming from, but it's a ton of work. You know, like, anyone can do this, actually, but it takes a lot of time. And, you know, personally, myself, when I started with Level Up Your Game in Tekken 6, you know, it was a lot of work to do all that, and that's what I was trying to do. But, you know, after a while, I just gave up with it. I was like, this is this is too much. You know, filming one episode takes me, like, four weeks to put together, you know, with all my spare time, whatever. And then, you know, it comes out as a nice finished product, but even that, I think, is, you know, overkill, considering... 
like it was still like an hour long, you know. So um, I don't. I, I just I just pretty much disagree with them, and I think that content creators should be paid if you want to have that kind of content. If you get content that's just you know off the cuff and stuff, and that's free, I think that's fine. And that was basically the gist of it. What was his response to that? Because I found that to be the most interesting part. He was saying something like, well, wasn't it worth it in the end or something like trying to like his final retort was that. And I thought that that's such, first of all, such a mm, what's the nice way to say this dick thing to say. (laughs) I mean, that guy's cool. I like that guy. But man, that was a really weird uh, response. It was was a weird thing for me to address like back and forth either. Right. Because he was telling me like. Like, I think it's worth it to do it. Oh, he said, because he said that he had done editing as well. Right. And he said that, like, for him, it took him, like, a, an honest day's work, and that to him it was worth it. And I was like, well, you know, to me it wasn't worth it, you know, like, because it took so much time, whatever, whatever. And then he just kept on going back and forth about it, and I was, you know, I was talking about how, you know, eventually I got paid to do the tutorials for Cross Tech and then for Tag 2. Mm-hmm. And then, so he was saying, like, oh, well, you know, now isn't that making your old tutorials worth it then? Because you put so much time and then you got this out of it. And I'm like, yeah, kind of, but like, you know, it's not like a guaranteed career path or anything, you know, like, right. it's not something you can say like, oh, well, yeah, camera. as long as I do that. Did it freeze again? This thing's a piece of shit. Yeah. So anyway, the point is, you know, I just, I, I personally would think it's like super risky. I wouldn't recommend anyone to do it thinking that they would get lucky. I think I got very lucky with the way things turned out. Um, but yeah, it, it's strange to think that he thinks, you know, his argument is always about whether it's worth it in that sense. Yeah, the thing, the the part that I wanted to chime in on is I think that both of you are at least forgetting that when you make content like this, like let's say when you started doing Level Up Your Game, right? Or mm-hmm. when, when I started doing whatever the fuck podcasts we were doing back in Tekken 6, we were doing these things because the thing that we were talking about, in this case Tekken, but in the case of Keats, Killer Instinct, this thing on, in itself compelled us to do things for it for free. When you made Level Up Your Game, you thought to yourself, well, I know how to do this editing stuff. I have these good ideas. Let me make this content for the game because I like the game myself. The game itself compelled you to do this. And I feel like if Keats is bitching about people not uh, creating content for the game, really it falls on the game's hands. The game has to compel the players. And, you know, I totally agree with you in the in the sense of, you know, editing stuff like that, not only can I not do it, but it's like a shitload of work, you know, to make it into a real polished product. And personally, when it comes to tutorials and things like that, I prefer it to be more information rather than less information in a small amount of time. But that's because when I go to learn, let's say, a character, I want all the information. Like, even back in Mortal Kombat 9, I remember when I was first entering the Mortal Kombat scene, I had never played a Mortal Kombat before, and I knew that Tom Brady was the guy, right? Everyone was saying Tom Brady is a guy to pay attention to in Mortal Kombat. So he would show up on these podcasts. They're like, nobody's watching. Very few people were watching, but he was just rambling on and on rambling about mortal kombat 9 he was talking about what was cheap he was talking about each character and you know how the chat room will contribute they'll be like hey what's cheap with shiva and he would be like oh what's cheap with shiva you got to do this that's whatever whatever he would just jibber jabber for hours and hours but you know i had that shit on in the background and i swear he basically taught me how to beat him as well as everyone else with all these ramblings right so In my eyes, I think content like that, that has all the details, if you're truly trying to learn, is really valuable. And it's easy to create because it's just a matter of knowledge that's in someone's mind. It just has to come out of their mouth. So I don't know. It's kind of like, to me, the whole idea with Keats bitching about it, it's clear that he wants KI to be like seen as a game worth someone's time. I think like I think he's Mm. thinking what I'm thinking. I think he's thinking like, what the fuck? You know, we got this product. Why aren't you guys making it? But I think he's failing to see that people naturally, organically do things like this for free without even thinking about the future. And that's actually what co- creates a good product. I mean, the, the, I think that it's not chance that you or I or anyone gets popular or gets any kind of views or anything. It's not chance. If you put your heart into something and create a good good product, I mean, you know, that's the equation. And I just think that the thing itself has to compel it, you know? So what are, what are your thoughts on my theory on that? 
Um, I definitely agree. You know, you, you don't start creating content unless you, you know, you care for it in some way. Like, uh, for me personally, I remember when the opportunity came up to, like, I was, I was hit by Capcom actually. Uh, I, I don't know if I hit them up first to do Marvel 3, the tutorial. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a game where, like, I was like, I felt personally like I had missed out on it. You know, so I, even though I hadn't played the game yet, I knew it was a game that I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I hit them up and then, you know, that's, that's basically what led us to get Strife Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you definitely have to have some kind of a love for the thing you're doing. Otherwise, you're not going to want to do it, period. You know, whether it's for free, whether it's edited and all polished, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, I don't even know what the Killer Instinct scene looks like in terms of free tutorial content. Like, I, everyone's saying, like, when he brought this up, a lot of people replied back saying that there was a TJ combo uh, tutorial that was really good. But, I mean, that mm -hmm. was pretty much it. No one else was saying anything. And it, it's interesting because I feel like Maximilian had, like, kind of a... Um, a monopoly on tutorials when the game came out. You know, like, mm -hmm. he was doing tutorials, he's gonna get like a billion views, so he's gonna do a pretty decent job, so why would I make a tutorial after that? You know what I mean? So I think a lot of people probably, or a lot of people who would have made tutorials probably felt the same way. Um, and so I think that, you know, he, he, they just kind of let Max do it. And I don't know if he's still doing tutorials for season two of KI, I assume he kinda is. I, I just really don't know though. What do you think about that theory? Do you subscribe to that? Like, oh, he's making a tutorial, fuck it. I'll let him do it. I, Wait, when you <clears throat> someone the size of Maximilian, I do now because, in in terms of um, uh, in terms of the amount of time it would take me to put together a tutorial, where if I was if I were to polish it, right, mm -hmm. like it's not it's not worth it to me because just just seeing like okay, well he's gonna already have like you know a hundred two hundred thousand people who already saw it, so who's left to see mine after that basically, you know? Hmm. So that that's in terms of like how much time I want to put into. Uh, creating something like that I, I look I do look at that sometimes does that um well, okay so I guess I'll talk about my thought on that I personally okay. totally don't agree oh my god the fucking camera it's so fucking <laughs> stupid it pisses me off so much I don't even touch it I didn't even touch it okay mm. say something oh god <laughs> <laughs> this is just like the MLG dude it's exactly like that MLG okay way. I'm back all right cool. <laughs> so I think that um when let's say okay so this is going to happen again max is going to make tutorials for things like sure. tekken and mortal kombat and stuff does that mean you're going to perhaps not make content for those games like no, does I the theory you're... carry over no 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 I, I mean there has to be a certain level of i mean if his if his tutorials are really good then i still might feel the same way yeah really mm -hmm. see i that's the one part i don't agree with like the way i see it is there's always someone better than you in some way they're better in some way but right. does that mean you're not going to try? You know, I, I don't I don't I don't really agree with that totally, especially considering like, you know, for example, I would like to think that maybe your tutorials for Killer Instinct would be of higher quality in terms of a competitor than his. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's true, but, you know, doing a diff putting a different spin on things is never a bad thing. Like, for example, I made a kink tutorial after you had uh, um, Cabal do mm -hmm. a king and armor king tutorial i mean this guy like obviously is hella better at using the character than i am but i don't see why having a different perspective on it is a bad thing you know i think it's a good yeah. thing and you know i i definitely did not want to do any kind of editing or anything i just fucking turned that shit on and started talking you know <laughs> and and a lot of people appreciate it you know so mm -hmm. I, I don't know i think there's a fine line i think you're you might be right spending a million hours to get some to make something that gets ten thousand views when Max is getting 200,000 views is kind of bullshit. But, I mean, <laughs> if you have that mentality of, okay, I have information that I want to share with the internet, that's, right. I mean, I don't know, I kind of, that's my philosophy. Like, you know, it'll help someone out, and I like to contribute mm -hmm. to the tutorial community, you know? So, right. I don't know, I just think that that was a funky conversation by Keats. He's, I don't think he's seeing it. He's not playing fair, you know, obviously. I mean, the interesting thing to me is that, uh, you know, I was saying that I think that the community members who make these types of tutorials that are more polished should be paid to do so. And, you know, he basically disagreed with that. At least that was the gist of what I got from him. But, you know, What's people the are favoriting... logic there? Why should they not be paid? Like, he disagrees they shouldn't basically, be paid? I mean, like, he didn't say so. But, uh -huh. I mean, like, I think he's like, he's like, he's like, why? It'll be worth it. It'll be worth your time anyway. I think that's, that's kind of how I read his replies back mm -hmm. after that, you know? And um, it was interesting to me because... Like a couple of people favorited that tweet that I said that you know content creators should be paid for this kind of content. Yeah. And the way I've, I started seeing it after the Tekken Six stuff was like, look, I'm making this stuff 
that's helping your game get more sales. You know, like I'm building a community and making them stronger so that they'll understand your game because you didn't do that already. You yeah. know, like <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and so, you know, after a while, I started thinking in that in that sense. And it's interesting because now Keats on, on the on the side, you know, he said he made tutorials before, but now he's like on the developer side, he's making the game and he's saying like, hey, make me tutorials for free, guys. Come on, I made the game. You know, <laughs> like, I mean, he didn't. He made the add-ons for the game, but still, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I mean, as a developer, I think it's an interesting thing to do. I mean, could you imagine if Harada said that? I mean, <laughs> why don't you guys make more shit for free for me, dude? Make more you know? shit. Yeah. That doesn't sound like something that a developer typically would say. You right. Know? I, I, that's yeah, the thing. You're slacking. Yeah, you Pick guys suck. Come on. It's not my game's fault. It's your fault. You're yeah. whack. I mean, that doesn't make, that's the part that really did not resonate yeah. well. It's like, dude, if the product is what does the, you know coaxing it's what causes people like you and i and whatever random people there are in the chat who have youtube channels and twitch channels the mm -hmm. product itself is you got to do what you love you got to like you know if it's something you like you put the passion into it and if you do a good job it'll come back in the end but i think keats is perhaps failing to uh i don't even know if there is a ki scene that's independent from the rest of the scene or do all ki players play or come from something else i think 99% of them all come from something else. Like, there might be a slim couple, like, who didn't play any other fighting games for 15 years or whatever, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I think odds are, at this point, they all came from something else. Yeah, and it's funny because all I wonder how many of these all came from something else people are like you that create content for other shit uh, but aren't creating content for KI. Because if there are 99% of people that are playing other things, Mm -hmm. There is a good chance that a lot of them have created content for other things. So why are they not creating content? It just goes right back to it. It goes right back to the product itself. It needs to be compelling, you know? So mm -hmm. uh, it's just one thing that I wanted to touch on. I thought that uh, maybe you... I think you did a good job representing your point, but I think, like, it wasn't clear enough. You know, yeah. you, you should, I, I think, like, he, he didn't catch... The point. No, I also gave up because I didn't feel like I was going to get through. Yeah, it's kind of it's tough on the Twitter, you know, Twitter. but I don't get it. I don't get it. I think it, it's really dude. I think back at the podcast and I used to get so pissed. You guys remember Internet? For those of you who are old school from I am dot com. I used to put a podcast out like every month or two months. Like basically it took I did 12 in a year. The first year that I did. So, I mean, think about that. Now I do it every week. You know, at that time, I used to fucking hate that shit. I used to hate guests. I used to hate ideas. I used to hate thinking about anything. But I did it because I really liked Tekken 6, you know, and I really cared about it. And I wanted other people to like it, you know. So I just think it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a matter of the game itself, you know. Do something about it. Make TJ Combo look less retarded. And, <laughs> Dude, you know, that Kimbo Slice version is way better. I haven't like, seen it. Been, it should have been the default version. I Someone in the chat will find it and post it up, I'm it sure. Sounds but yeah, good. it's awesome. It sounds good, but anyway, uh, so it's pretty slim pickings on topics this week. There haven't been uh, that many events as far as Tekken goes going on, except there is one event that transpired over the past few days. Uh, <laughs> take it away, Rip. <laughs> why, wait, wait, why do I have to take it away? You, Someone you has to take it away. You're, you're much better at story time than I am. Well, it's not really a story. The story. Uh, it's, you're telling it's, people about past. Go on. Okay, I don't even know what her name is. Something about Jugs. Jugs. Something about Jugs. Uh, apparently, from what I hear, she was a, or is a porn star of some sort. And MFC. A what? MFC. What's that mean? It's the website where my free cams. That's what it stands for. See, you know more about it than me. What the hell is that? Is that People the one that Charles that talks about? Does Charles go to that site? I don't know. It's like a site where they like, do stuff for people in the chat do stuff like, like what wash their dishes it's like a stream it's like a streaming site mm -hmm. for nudity and stuff so they show you like their boobs and insertions and insertions <laughs> gross <laughs> etc okay so this is a person from one of these porno sites and now she's streaming on twitch and if for those of you who didn't really catch it she got like a shitload of people watching her and basically it was a barrage of just like got milk and et cetera, et cetera in the chat room. And a lot of people are pissed about it, right? A lot of people like us or like random streamers were really pissed. Like immediately they, the dudes were like stuffing their shirt full of stuff <laughs> and like just immediately talking hella shit. And Twitch has recently passed a new rule 
that actually this flies under the radar of. And Charles think this, thinks this new rule has to do with Halloween. So Halloween's coming, and all these female uh, streamers are going to be, you know, sporting all kinds of lingeries and random cosplays and stuff and getting a shitload of views and stuff. So what are your thoughts on this, Rip? I mean, is this fucked up, or is this... What's the deal? Of course it's fucked up, man. But I mean, like, what are you going to do? Twitch is 99% male. You know, like, this... I mean, if, if no one watched it, you know, then it wouldn't ever happen. You know, yeah. if, like, if Joe Scott came on and said, look, I don't know how to play games, but I'll walk around in Minecraft with my boobs out. And mm -hmm. then, She's you know... She's south if, and yeah, has and no then, teeth. Yeah, and then if, uh, if only five people watched that, and people like her wouldn't want to do that, right? That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, but instead, I, she gets, like, thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching. And if you go to, like, you know, Twitch's most watched videos of the week, whatever, all you see are boobs yeah, all over. Yeah, I like, saw that. Twitch's on. most watched videos, every single one was, like, some female streamer with huge boobs. Where the and, camera's like two thirds of the screen and the game is like one third of the screen. Did you? Okay, I don't know about you and I don't know about you, chat, but this uh, streamer, Jugs, Jugs McGillicuddy or whatever her name was, I didn't even think she was very attractive. I mean, she had those weird veiny boobs, you know? And I'm thinking you don't even need to put an attractive woman on. I could put like, just let me find some grandma off the streets with some gigantic grandma boobs and it's gonna be Home Run City. Thousands of people watching. It's just like, it's, it's, at first you get pissed, but then you start to think, you know, let me find, <laughs> let me find a grandma, you know? So that's when your idea came into the It picture. was your idea. You say that it's my idea, but I don't because think. Because it I, is. Okay, what's the idea? <laughs> well, I never had an original thought. That's a good point. You don't have original oh, thoughts. That's an oh, excellent point. Owned. Though I do like your Stone Cold right. Steve Austin uh, subscription <laughs> sound. That's, that's a good, good. idea. Uh, I don't know how you made it so loud. But anyway, okay, so so the idea here is... Was it Charles's idea? He said it was his idea in the chat. Is it Charles's idea? <laughs> What's the idea, it's, Charles? Usually it's, Air, usually, it's Char, usually it's Charles's idea. You, usually. Take it. I can't say that word. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. He, he just spoiled it in the chat. He just spoiled it already. You have to start talking about it. They're 30 seconds behind. So the idea <laughs> is... Well, first, before we go over the idea, <laughs> what's the new policy? What's the policy oh, on Twitch? The, the policy is no shirtless streaming, no topless streaming. Right. And you have to um, – no, no bikinis either mm -hmm. and no, like, underwear stuff. But that's basically it. So you can wear a shirt and you can – it could be as low cut as you want. I mean, you know, they said keep the focus on the games is what they said. Yeah. So the idea is <laughs> go on the market and hire – Right? A prostitute, right? This was Eris's idea. Find a prostitute. You, it's going to be the easiest day of work of her life. No <laughs> dicks. Zero yeah. dicks. All you got to do is come play video games with me. Come over, play some video games with me. What do you think, chat? Am I going to get in trouble for this? That's totally legal, right? That's really weird. I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, that's not against know, any rules or any laws. I'm like, hey, prostitute, what up? I'll give you a <laughs> hundred bucks and just come play video games with me it's for a while. It's a different while. kind of job, you know? Yeah, you know, whatever. I, but why not? I don't think it's that bad of an idea. I mean, at this point, it's like grandma veiny boobs are going to get a hundred million uh, views. I don't see why not. I'll get another chair in here. I got a folding chair. Let's mm -hmm. play some Tekken. You know, the whole idea is just really... It's like Anna Nicole Smith, you know? It reminds me of Anna Nicole Smith. When she was really famous, you'd go anywhere and everyone would be saying, oh, she's so, I hate her, she's so stupid. But everyone is fucking talking about Anna, Anna Nicole Smith and how stupid she is. So who's fucking stupid, right? And then everyone talks shit about this uh, Juggies McGillicuddy. And mm -hmm. look at it, we're talking about it on our fucking Tekken podcast. She's a fucking genius, you know? So all we gotta do is be geniuses, right? Yeah. We got to get prostitutes. Where are we going to get them? You're the, you're the brains of this operation. <laughs> <laughs> I got to figure out where to find some prostitutes. They don't yeah. even need to be attractive. I was saying, you know, you could get like the weird prostitutes. You know, the ones that are all messed up, funky ones. You know, the ones on the side of the freeway. I haven't seen any of those. Yeah, you should on come to Baldwin freeway? Park. <laughs> yeah, <it's> <laughs> we got plenty of that. Oh, we, God. We have good internet, unlike Ricky. Man, yeah. I would like for him ghetto. to be here. Oh, you should go to Torrance. They probably got a bunch over there. Prostitutes? Yeah, I mean, it's the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky gets really butthurt when we talk about the ghetto like that. 
Anyway, yeah. I don't know. This, there must be like, a, I mean, it, like you said, it's the way. It's the way it is. You know, everyone's dudes, and that's the way it's going to be. But the question is, you know, I don't see it as being ethically wrong. Do you? I think it probably is. You think it's ethically wrong for her? Which one? The prostitute thing or for Juggies McGillicuddy? No, for the prostitute thing. Why? You think that's ethically wrong? I think so. Why? I don't understand ethics completely, but I'm pretty sure it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even understand <laughs> ethics? Do you know what it means? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with it's wrong. Well, I don't know. It seems like you're actually doing a service. To who? The prostitute. Of course. So how is that wrong? I think it's... it's, it's... How That's is not... that wrong? <laughs> there, there's... there's it's, yeah. You know, Charles in the chat, he's right. It's exploitation of women. Is that true? Yeah, you're exploiting women. You're like, hey, you women with boobs, come and hula hoop next to me while I play my game. Does that mean that Twitch is guilty of this then? No, it's the streamers. I mean, it's up to Twitch to to ban the streamers. You know, but, and to- but wait a minute, wait a minute. But but Twitch is allowing this top streamers, all, everyone has cleavage thing to happen. Yeah, but I mean, you can't control cleavage. Yeah, but it's Twitch. They can control whatever they want. But why would they? They're making money off it, too. There, there you go. This is a matter of ethics, right? So they obviously think that it's not that unethical. You know, well, it's allowed. Yeah, they're, they're stepping in a little bit. I mean, they could have just said, like, yeah, fine. You want to cheat the top? Let's go ahead. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would, change funny, the, funny. <laughs> that would change the flavor of Twitch uh, if yeah, they did different that. Kind of teaching. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's okay. I, whatever. It's the way it is. You can't really argue with it. It's the way it is. People are going to stream. I just really think it's shocking that more of it doesn't happen. Like, you yeah. know, people talk about uh, something Tron, Joanna Tron, or what's her name? Some kind of other streamer who's very, very famous. And, like, she says, like, oh, if you donate X amount, I'll say anything you want or whatever. You know, yeah. these, I mean, whatever. And she says stuff like, I am such a dumb bitch with big boobs. Yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. I just... I mean, it's on them. It's their own ethical, you know, if they think that's a good idea, then it's a good idea. This is the beauty of ethics, Rip. It's all a matter of the individual, you know? Yeah, because Beal said, and Beal's usually all about this. He said, (laughs) it's exploitation if they agree. It isn't exploitation if they agree? Well, he asked the question, is it exploitation if they agree? Well, if if the concept of exploitation comes into the picture, I think it goes right back to Twitch. Because if a male streamer like you or I is not allowed to, you know, boost our views with something like, you know, that, then why is it allowed, I mean, ethically, why is it allowed for Twitch to even support the concept? You know, I mean, obviously, like you said, what are they going to do? They're kind of screwed. They, they're they making a lot of money this way. People are watching Twitch. And, you know, it's, it's just not bad overall, right? I mean, people get to see boobs if they want to see them. It's just like... There must be a even playing field here at, for random people like you and I. <laughs> this is like the best idea that I can't do possibly. I was like, I should be able to program like a boob girl that sits next to you, a virtual boob girl for everyone on Twitch. They could all have one. Dude, it's like T-Notifier? Yeah, exactly. Except you have, a, you have a boob girl next to you. Wow, and you get to choose your character and create yeah. them? Exactly, and you can you're customize gonna, them. You're going to be a millionaire. Get on that. Nobody steal that idea. Nobody steal the <laughs> idea. <laughs> so, damn it. Shouldn't have said it out loud. Yeah, big mistake. Uh, I don't know. The, just the entire topic uh, seemed like it was one of those things that was buzzing a lot. And a lot of people that I know, you know, that watch my stream and are also streamers were really pissed off. And I, I was, at first my instinct was to be pissed, but... I mean, dude, you can't get pissed about that. It's the way it works. You know, I mean, if you really hate it, you, you just should not condone it. You know, just don't watch it. Some people were like, man, I can't believe this bullshit. I watched it for 45 minutes. <laughs> like, come on, man. I mean, if you don't, if you can't believe this bullshit, you are one of those 5,000 or 10,000. She got like 2,000 followers in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's so fucked up. <laughs> Why? I mean, I get that much in a couple months. Yeah, two <laughs> months, three <laughs> years. You know? yeah. and, and, like, you know. The worst part was last night when he said that, like, if I had boobs, I would be awesome. I, that's totally true because we were talking about the type of personality you need. And Rip has the perfect bimbo personality. You just seem like a fucking ditz. All you need is tits to go with the ditz, and you're going to be good to go. You're, but I you're, can't. Well, I mean. Consider surgery, amigo. 
Life's not fair. You you'll be rich. <laughs> I can throw. Oh, you have chest hair too, right? Gross. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, I think you should get on that. Um, All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so KC Tron or whatever it is. Do we have any other thoughts on the issue? No, but I mean, if you've seen the pictures on MFC, man, ugh. if you thought it was bad with the shirt on, wait till you see it off. What pictures? What's MFC again? <laughs> it's the site that she's from. Jugs oh, Cam. my free cams. Yes. So you can actually see them unsheathed. Yeah. <laughs> you... it's, it's in her profile or whatever. Really? That's what I got linked to. And they're super gnarly looking, right? Uh, dude, like. Like her, she has like a oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what? I want to know what the end of that sentence was. <laughs> I mean, she talks about like the Phillips and stuff. You know, like like the what? People donate so that she gets Phillips, and she's like, "Well, they're getting bigger now." Phillips. Phillips. Oh, I thought you were talking about a screwdriver. Like what? Like, I don't know. It's like <laughs> Phillips. <fascinating>. Yeah. Phillips. <laughs> like what? Oh, God, no. Yeah. Because you uh, said insertion. So yeah, like, that that could happen. That. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, the, the the shocking thing really is, I'm sure there are a billion my free cam girls. Why aren't any of them well, on yeah. Twitch? Yep. I don't know why. I need to know why. Uh, unless my free cams is clearly a more a better investment of your time. Oh, uh, probably. I really need to look at this. I had never heard of it until Charles told me. I don't even know. You what should get is. on there, dude. If I wasn't doing a podcast right now, I'd check it out. <laughs> is it? No, for I, mean, I mean, I mean, you should get on there, like become a model. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, it, do men do it too? I have no idea. But why not? Why wouldn't there be a Yeah, they can't uh, discriminate. It has to be even Maybe Steven. Twitch is the problem. Maybe we shouldn't be on Twitch. We should be on MFC instead. Yeah, it could be the reverse. Chicks hmm. get hella famous on Twitch. Dudes pull out your nuts over on MFC, and it's Home Run City. Hmm. Uh, these are all hmm. things to consider. Uh, anyway... Any other uh, issues lingering with this jug, Juggy McGillicuddy? No. no. I mean, I, I feel like I had this issue a long time ago, and you were like, whatever. You know, but I feel like now that you're streaming a lot more, you're like, God damn it. Well, the reason I was like, whatever, is still the same reason I'm like, whatever now. It's like, what are you going to do? The more you think about it, the more you're just going to get fucking pissed. So it's like, just fucking whatever it. What are you going to do about it, right? That's my overall umbrella philosophy on it. But I think there's something to learn here, right? I think there's... Uh, like I said, we got the prostitute idea going. Yeah, you know. with the hula hoops. You got to have the hula hoops. Why not, man? We'll do yeah. fucking Twister. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, that's a great idea. Did you come with that right now? I, dude, I got a million of them, man. <laughs> Fuck Twister. We could do whatever we want. We could just fucking play Star Wars Stratego and fucking kick it and whatever. Wait, wait. Look at flowers. Twitch is a site about gaming, right? Right. And in that same rules thing, they said, like, you know, Board even games. you have, like, even though you have like, yeah, board games are included. Yeah. So you could really make a channel on Twitch about playing Twister with hookers. It totally falls within the rules of Twitch. This is the point I was making. This is the idea. This is the point. You fall within the rules of Twitch if your whole point is Twister with prostitutes. Mm. I mean, as long as they are wearing a shirt, you know, that's it. Yeah. I'm going to become the Twister world champion. So when are you going to start doing this? I got to find out where to get a prostitute. <laughs> you know, I got to get a good one, you know. And is Charles okay with that? He can play too. Over? Maybe it'll be Charles <laughs> versus the prostitute and I'll be the ref. <laughs> Dude, now we're talking. Charles versus – he's been doing push-ups on his stream. Yeah, that's right. Maybe he'll be good, you Whoa. know. This, this could Whoa. be something, Internet. This could be something, uh, you know, You're in the be making. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. What else? Um, that's all I got. Come on, you gotta have something else. Uh, oh yeah, you've been streaming a lot more lately. What's that been yeah, up to? What's, how's that going? It's going okay when you host. It's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes time, compadre. It takes yeah. dedication. It's like growing a beard. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I'm gonna shave it off in a second. What are your plans? Yeah. Any any plans for any? I keep bugging you to do more bread and butters. What are your plans? Any plans for the future? Do you want to do bread and butters? Because I don't really want to do them. I mean, and the thing is, I talked to Mike about this a while ago, and I was just like, hey, do you still want to do Tekken Tag 2 bread and butters now that Tekken 7 is announced and it's coming out? I feel like we're going to get more and more footage about it as time goes on, mm -hmm. and less and less people are going to be interested in seeing tutorials for Tekken Tag 2. So I feel like you know it's time to just give up on it. 
Mm, I mean, it's fun. You know, isn't it? No. Isn't, it's not fun for you? It's not that fun, no. it's. A lot, I mean, it's work, you know? It's like, I, I cause say we did uh, Zafina, right? Mm-hmm. That's one of the picks we haven't done yet. I mean, I'm yeah. going to have to go in there and I'm going to have to... You know, learn her stances, learn all of her bow moves and homie moves and whatever, you know. And, and I usually got to go on TZ, I research there, and then I look at the frame data. You know, I mean, that's that's generally how I prepare for every bread and butter. And so, I mean, that that takes hours, you know. And, yeah, but, you know, you could do it. Um, You could change the format to where it could be like you don't know shit and the person is teaching you it. That's like half of them anyway. Yeah, so why don't you just not do any of the those, research? Those ones don't go as well. They oh, don't- they don't? Because if I have another contributor, I'm just like, are you sure that's right? Okay. Are you sure? Because it looks wrong. You know, then we just test it for like five minutes. And yeah, go, that oh, testing oh, shit's oh. got to go. That shit's <laughs> super whack. <laughs> that's right. So, I mean, that's why I like to do my work too. You know, it, it cuts down on the amount of testing that needs to be done. I feel like nine times out of ten, it's MYK's fault about that testing though. Because he'll say some shit that only worked in Tekken 6, Tekken 6 and then you spend yep. 20 minutes testing it. And then it's like, oh, I guess it doesn't work. It's like, yeah. okay. Sorry. Yeah. Whatever. That's just the contributor, though. I, either way, point is that I, I think uh, if you want to do it, I, I'm down. You know. Okay. Since you've been uh, streaming so much lately, I figured if you don't got anything to do, just let me know. I'm down to do it. Okay. Uh, we'll do the characters that uh, you've done that I haven't done, just to catch up on the bread and butter total. Because we're okay. getting close. I, I know it's less than 10. I don't know what the exact number is right now. You have less than 10 remaining? Less than 10 characters to cover. I think I have less than 10 tutorials. <laughs> I think. Maybe 10. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that's hardcore, man. That's really like... I think you should go for it. I don't know. Just why not? I, I thought about that too because the game's... Um, Tekken 7 is not coming out on console for a while. We all know this. Yeah. So if I finished it now-ish, then, you know, it would be complete before Tekken 7 hits console at least. Yeah, and I think since, you know, the, the, I really, really hate playing Tekken Tag 2 online, but I do it all the time because I know people watch and appreciate it, and I like it with the chat, you know, with the chat talking shit and everything. So I think, I don't know, maybe people will appreciate it, you know? Yeah. That's the way I see playing Tekken online. People appreciate it when I play, so I do it and try to make it as fun for myself as possible. That's why the music is integral. By the way, your taste in music is fucking putrid. Dude, like, what are you talking about? I was playing Metallica, and then people in the chat... That wasn't Metallica. That people wasn't Metallica. People told me to change it from Metallica. That so wasn't Metallica. You were listening to, like, the Unforgiven Part 8. You know, like, what the fuck was that trash? That was not Metallica. He sounds like a bitch. You know? Let's get it some was old... Metallica, dude. It, it was a... Dude, there was one live track that came on. Come on, whatever. That shit was junk, okay? Bottom Metallica. line is, step up your music. Awesome. Well, okay. But step it up. Your music game is whack. Link me to your Pandora oldies. I don't even have a link. Just search 50s or oldies or whatever. I just always go to Pandora and look for something I like. Michael Jackson. Boom. Everything's there. Madonna's there. <laughs> fucking Prince is there. Everyone's there. I don't know. Pandora is my hero. I got to get Dude, a sponsor. What is RTSB Moonfly talking about? What a dick. Anyway. What did he say? I don't Dude, know. What are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like rips. Oh. What is he talking about? <laughs> what about? I told you the rule. You can't read the chat. Those are the rules. I tried not to. You wrote it in all capital letters, though. Yeah, he got you. Yeah. Anyway. Whatever. All right. So Tekken 7, not coming out for a while. Yep. The main man bailed this week. Oh. We don't know if he's going to show up next week. That was one of the things I wanted to talk to him about, you know, because, you know, he was just like a random combo maker. And then out of nowhere, he just became huge, you know. So, I mean, his motivations is what I'm curious about. Where did he come from? He doesn't play in tournaments. What compelled him to make these tutorials, et cetera, et cetera? You know, so we'll see. We'll see when he shows up. Um, is there anything else we're missing? It's a really slow news week. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a slow time for Tekken in general. I mean, you know, somebody in my chat asked today, like, hey, what's the next big turn for Tekken? And I was like, Pfft. you know, somebody, <laughs> in said, <laughs> somebody in the chat said Evo. And I was like, uh, right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, someone asked us yesterday. I think it was CQC. But what do you think about Tekken at Evo next year? I think we both agreed that probably Tekken 7 will be there in some way, right? Right. I think that, you know, even if it's not on console yet, I think that it's probable that they would bring some kind of a build early so that we could play it yeah. at Evo. Because I think they've done it in the past for Tekken 6 and for uh, Tekken Tag 2. Tekken 6, Tekken Tag 2, they, it's, a, it's something that they always do. So I'm sure at the very worst, you're going to be able to get your hands on Tekken 7 at EVO next year. But, you know, there's a chance it could be earlier than that. It's not totally unheard of in the history of Tekken for a game to be released in arcades and then released on console a couple months later. So 
I guess I can't see it. I can't see it happening. Like three months, you're saying? Like, I mean, realistically, if the game comes out in February, for it to be at Evo, it would have to be released by May. Three months. Yeah, or that's Jul- good for Tekken Five O. And also, if they do that, that means it's going to be one month within the Mortal Kombat X release. That doesn't yeah. sound like a good idea. Because Mortal Kombat X is going to sell like crazy. Yeah, it is a trillion copies. They just put yeah. out a video of Sub Zero fighting against some other shit, uh, some other character. It's from another country. They have like an E3, but it's like a French E3, Z3 mm-hmm. or whatever. And uh, they have footage of it. It looks pretty cool, man. It looks like it's coming along really nicely. So I think a lot of my chat room who's been, you know, just watching in general, I think they've all been looking at that game at least. It's going to be big. That's going to yeah. be a big one. And you know they're going to do a, a national tournament for like a million dollars. <laughs> and hopefully yeah. this time they don't make you play on some junk ass fucking particle board well, hopefully arcade. This time state. you won't be such a loser and actually go to it. I have I'm a problem. Internet. Let me go. I have a problem. I have a problem and it happens every time. And that is that I consistently will play a game at home and think there's no way these guys are gonna be they're gonna be better than me, right? These guys are all gonna be really good at these tournaments. When MK9 had that Las Vegas tournament. I didn't even go because I was like, I'm new to MK. You know, I'm just going to get wrecked. Everyone that went there would have gotten fucking owned by smoke. And I was so pissed about that. So it's just like a, it's one of those things, it's kind of a sidestep topic, but every player has their own issues, right? And I think this is one of my issues. I, when it comes to a game that's like relatively new, I never think that I'm going to be as good as I can be. And I always think the other people that are supposed to be good are going to be better than they can be. You know, so that's a total scrub mentality, by the way. No, it totally is. It totally is, and I don't know why I think that way. I think it happens more when it's a game that I'm foreign to. Like I didn't feel that right. way about Injustice. You know, I went to all, as many tournaments as I could in that game, but in Mortal Kombat, I was like, I don't know. There was just something about it. I was like, dude, these guys are gonna fuck me up. They all have been playing <laughs> the game. You know, I don't know what I'm doing, and then boom, I'm watching them play, and it's like, okay, whatever. This is like the same shit that I gobble up for Christmas. You know, so Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a personal thing. I think it is a scrub mentality, but I think uh, it's something that I need to work on. We'll see. MK10 is coming. Everyone's going to get fucked. When I say scrub mentality, I I think like, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't come to tournaments because they think the same way. They think like, oh, oh, I'm just going to go lose to those guys. Those guys are really good, you know, but like, once, if they start coming out, those, they realize they're better than they think they are, and then they can actually get better really quick. Well, and speaking of which, Wednesday Night Fights... Before you, know, you go played, to that, hold on. I have to, I have to say one last thing about that. Mm-hmm. There is a key here. At that time, this would have meant I have to spend hundreds of dollars of my own money to go to Vegas and fucking get a room and buy the PDP stick. It wasn't just like I'm not confident. It was like mm-hmm. not only am I not confident, but I have to make an investment of approximately $300 to practice on the stick as well as get to the tournament. So I'm not, you know, my father was a gambler, so I'm not the gambling type. And in my eyes, before I saw the footage, I felt like that was gambling. That was like putting 300 bucks up to try and see if I'm good enough. Now, in my eyes, that didn't seem like a good bet until I watched them play. So I think it's pretty important to clarify that aspect of it. It's not just that I wasn't confident. There was more, you know, the money is a big factor. Right. Go on. Yeah, and I was just going to go on with uh, separate, a little bit separate from that topic, just that, you know, at Wednesday Night Fights last night, I played uh, CQC, and I also played, uh, who was it? Someone else. I think I played Bug and Casuals and also Noodle Leopard. But anyway, I just noticed that CQC is getting a lot better. You right. know, and I feel like he's relatively new to the scene. You know, yeah. he's only come around for like a couple months, maybe. Mm-hmm. And, he's been uh, around he's, a little longer than that, but yeah, he's new. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's, it's just it's cool to see that, you know, once you start going out to tournament, you do start improving, you know. Like, yeah. I mean, he says that him and Bug they practice, and so it's just it's just really cool just to see people like new players coming along, and getting better in the game too. Yeah, and the only way that happens is when you come out. I mean, that's yeah. the only way it happens. It doesn't matter how much you play at home or with your buddies, coming out and playing everyone. Speaking of which, Sonken came yesterday. What a. Mm-hmm. Can you believe that guy has the nerve? That guy has the fucking nerve to come up to me outside and tell me, give me shit about not entering Tekken. Go fuck yourself, man. Are you fucking serious? You disappeared for like fucking ever and I don't enter one week and you're giving me shit? Go fuck yourself. Are you kidding me? more than one week. What's only been one week? 
I said it's been more than one week that you haven't entered Tekken. It's going to be more than one week. I'm retired from tournaments. I mean, it's been like three or four weeks. Yeah, it's not going to happen anymore. Okay. If I'm going to keep playing only online and I'm going to keep getting fucking pissed off offline, I'm mm -hmm. now I'm if I enter, if I play 99% online and 1% offline, that ruins offline Tekken for me. And I don't want to ruin offline Tekken for me. So in order to keep offline Tekken pure, I have to stay away from it. That's the only what? way, because if I'm going to stream, everyone likes my stream. Everyone likes the, you know, online me getting pissed off and all that bullshit. Then I have to sacrifice something, you know, there's otherwise my sanity is in jeopardy. I get so fucking pissed about online. It's really a matter of maintaining mental stability, you know, and oh, Sunken damn. is a bitch. Next Wednesday night fight grudge match. Eris Ooh. for Sunken. <laughs> yeah, not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested. Be like, damn. Uh, I, I would own you. It's not a grudge if I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> but you're hella giving a shit. <clears throat> yeah, I give. You believe the nerve of that guy? He's got a lot of nerve. He's mm -hmm. got a lot of nerve. That rat-looking motherfucker. I can't believe <laughs> that guy came up to me and talked shit to me for not entering. Go fuck yourself. And there's eight people in the tournament. What the fuck's up with Wednesday night fights? That shit was a ghost town yesterday. Dude, I was about to leave because like I got there pretty early for once, which is like nine ten. I was ten minutes late, and there was no one. The, the, none of the systems were even on on the Tekken side. So like the Tekken Plus Injustice and the VF community was like three people. You know, yeah, dude, like... and uh, you know, even Street Fighter was really low on numbers. It looked like it was half the entrance as usual. What's the deal? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, it's getting close to Halloween. People are saving money for their costumes and shit. I don't know. I don't know. It was a very peculiar week for Wednesday Night Fights. I got there, and Charles went, too. Both of us were like, what the fuck? Is it even Wednesday? What's going on here? You know? I, I, I thought the same. I was like, is today Thursday? Did I fuck up? Yeah. Know, like, <laughs> I know. Thursdays are super dead, so I don't, know. Yeah. I don't know. It's a bad time right now. We'll figure it out. New stuff has to come out. Mortal Kombat. That's going to be our savior for the time being. Yeah. And Guilty Gear. Oh, yeah. Man, it I... sucks. I got, so I got the PS4, right? I haven't turned it on yet because they got. The, there's a new update for all you PS4 owners. Uh there's a note that was like 2.00, and apparently if you put your system to sleep, it won't ever wake up. So what? don't update. Yeah. And this is exactly why I didn't turn. I was going to turn it on today, and I was like, nope, not gonna, I'm going to skip this update. I'm going to wait till they patch it. So, what? yeah, that, that, that's the problem right now. And so wait for 2.01 or whatever to come out. Uh, or make sure you always go to turn off your system, not put it to sleep or whatever. Wow. Yeah, kind of a big problem. It's The, the update is cool, though. It lets people um, scream games to one another. So, like, if I'm playing, uh, I don't know. Guilty Gear here, and uh -huh. you have a PS4 and you don't have it, you can watch me play it, and then you can take over and play it, too. Take over? Yeah, and so you can start <laughs> playing it from home without having the game. Whoa. Yeah, so that's the new feature. I think it's called SharePlay. Um, so it's cool like feature. going over to your friend's house and playing. Yeah, but you can only... I, I, I don't know if you can play both at the same time. So I don't know if it's like, yeah, I have Guilty Gear, let's play 1v1 together, you know? And without you don't even have game. the game. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, but it I definitely know. works where it's like, man, I can't beat this part. Can you beat this shit for me? And then you come in and you beat that shit for me. Hey, you know, you know this is uh, on the topic of Twitch streaming and whatnot, but, you mm -hmm. know, uh, PlayStation has its own capability of streaming onto Twitch. Have you seen anyone who has, like, a successful stream that is 100% based on that model? I haven't really been looking. I'm the wrong guy to ask. Rickstar has probably looked around. But everyone I've seen has been really the smaller streamers. Yeah, I was, you know, Evil Within recently came out, and I really liked it. So I started watching other people streaming Evil Within, and there was a guy who was playing Evil Within who had like a thousand people watching him, and his whole stream is PlayStation 4 only. So I That's thought that was pretty, in yeah, really interesting. I mean, this is like, you know, all these people talk about being able to stream on Twitch. Just get a PS4 and do something right. I don't know what he did. Maybe he showed his tits or some shit, but <laughs> you know, there's, you know, that's a way to do it. That's like a big shortcut, you know? So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, the other thing was, um, I know that I don't remember what it was, but at launch, there was something where it's like, when you were viewing Twitch streams on the PS4, it would only show you the PS4 ones and not the other ones or vice versa. I don't remember. But yeah, there's some kind of issue with that. So I don't know if they changed that or if they meant to do it that way or what. But This one was integrated. It was all with the rest of them. You know what else I recently noticed? I've been browsing around on Twitch. So if you look at Counter-Strike streams, you know, Counter-Strike Go. Right. You can choose the stream that's playing a specific map. Did you know that? Like when you click Counter-Strike Go, instead of on showing... Twitch? Yeah, on Twitch. That's awesome. Instead of showing the streamers, the top row says CS Dust, CS wow. Dust 2, or all maps. And you can that's pick... Cool. 
that is amazing. That is so tight. Is that only through Steam though, or no, 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 Twitch? I don't know. Right, right, right. But I'm saying like, if, if I'm streaming through XSplit, does that still happen, or do I have to stream through something else? You don't know what I mean? Don't ask me like... about the details. I just saw it and thought that was really cool. I mean, imagine, let's say, if Tekken was extremely popular, like CS:GO, mm -hmm. you'd be able to pick a character. Like, oh, yeah. let, Rip's playing Law. Let me watch this stream. You know, that would that idea is really cool. It's just too bad yeah. Tekken's not that popular, but they, that's awesome. They, <laughs> they talked about that a while ago. It's something about meta tags in video or something, and they were talking about how basically that, like, you know, playing on certain maps, you can look it up, whatever. Uh, I forgot what other example they had, but it's, it's always been pretty cool, and just a, a matter of time until more games integrate with Twitch. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just thought that was a really cool idea. Uh, I also noticed someone in the chat room mentioning that YouTube has 60 frames per second now. Is that true? Yes, that is correct. So now when you update or upload your HD video, 720p or 1080p or higher, you can do 60 frames per second now. But does that mean that the videos you've already uploaded convert to 60 frames? No. That's whack. Why not? It's totally whack because I always upload at 60 frames Me per second. Me too. So, I mean, I, I technically have all my videos. I could re-upload them at 60, but I ain't going to do that. You know, yeah, just that sucks. Why didn't they just make it backwards? Is that impossible for them mm. on the technical probably. end? Probably. Probably. Oh. Because they probably take your raw file and re-encode it for YouTube's format. And, and they probably damaged now. Originals. Yeah. Huh. Well, interesting enough, I guess. These are all, you know, related to uh, what we do. Mm -hmm. Man, that's crazy. All right. Well, mm -hmm. anything else? You're streaming a grip. Are you planning anything for tomorrow, Halloween? I got to get a costume. Oh, tomorrow's Halloween? Yeah. Everyone's saying oh, I should shit. dress up as the love charger. But I can't find yeah. that enchanted armor. That's not <laughs> even like... Yeah. Uh, that's what? like not even a costume for you. That's what I said. <laughs> when I said... So I'm on the cusp of getting two new emoticons. And people are saying you should get a love charger emoticon. I was saying I already got two of them. They're my fucking face. The guy looks exactly like me. He could, could commit a crime, and I would go to jail for it. You know? So, yeah. That I guy's... think you should just wear white. I think you should wear all white. If I'm going to wear all white, that means I'm going to have to go buy all white. I don't have any fucking anything other just than black. Just go buy a t-shirt. A white buy a white t-shirt and just yeah. wear no pants. And then yeah. five I mean, subscribers, and no I'll stand up. No one's going to see it. <laughs> Damn. That's a good idea. Uh, we got a million good ideas. It's nonstop. I'll get two mm -hmm. prostitutes. I'll dress them up, both of them up as Love Charger, and we'll be good to go. Damn, you be Love Charger and I be Benny Lava? Oh, dude, you got to do Benny Lava. <laughs> you got to do it. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, people. you want to call people bitches? Um, yeah, I mean, sure. I, I'm, I, like Eric said, I'm streaming a lot at uh, twitch.tv slash level up your game. I guess I'll probably do some morning bread and butters again. Uh, next week I'll be gone on November second, seventh. Uh, Where are you going? Hawaii, Maui. I'm so going on a time? vacation. Just family vacation. Nice. I haven't, I haven't been. I haven't been on a real vacation. Like I, I feel like I've been traveling a lot the last couple of years, but I haven't been on a vacation. Like, what are you gonna do there, spelunking? I'm just gonna sit and do nothing. Like that's my plan. Like I'm just gonna be on the beach. Are you gonna? You're going to the beach. <laughs> going to the beach. Damn. Yeah. All right, the beach. Yeah. Are you going to pick up any horizontal refreshments while you're there, or is it all uh... <laughs> family time, man? That's gross. Right. Well, I don't, I don't know what kind of family you got. You guys fuck up camels and shit. <laughs> Put that gif up again. Camels fuck us up. That was uh -huh. so tight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I do. I will plan to stream more. I have a lot of my old stream catalog that I'm going to be going through because I have to plan at some point. Otherwise, I bought them all for nothing. And I'm probably streaming them. I tried to evolve actually today. That was kind of interesting. What is it? I played more. It's the four v one. It's the four v one game uh, from the makers of Left 4 Dead. Uh -huh. Like you have uh, four classes for the hunters they call them, and then there's a giant ass monster, and the monster runs around the map killing these little like NPC units to like evolve and get bigger and stronger, mm -hmm. and then eventually he has to kill like this like last resource or something, and you have to protect it. So what's it called again? Evolve. E V O L V E evolves nice. like evolution. Okay. You're gonna and play that? Anyone... Yeah, I played it today a little bit. Uh, probably play it tomorrow on Xbox One. Um, the PC alpha, if anyone is interested, anyone can get a code for the alpha version. It starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's uh, all you have to do is go to Curse Voice. Curse Voice. You download the client, make your account, and then there'll be a link, and you get your free key. That's you said it. it's on PC. Yeah, PC version of the alpha comes out tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Awesome. Xbox one day early. Yeah, I might get on that. We'll see. I don't know. That's yes, cool. 
Okay, so yeah, make sure you check out Rip. He's been streaming a lot lately. He plays all kinds of terrible fucking shitty music, and I'm sure you'll get really excited talking shit about it. That's like the best part of your stream. <laughs> Everyone talking shit about the music, and Asshole. then waiting to see what, Asshole. like, Nickelback or some <laughs> terrible Pearl Jam or garbage you play. It was play. Creed. Garbage. We so bad. Did. Seven dicks. Void of the Puddle uh, of Mud. Who's, who, yeah, who's, uh, who's, uh, your jokes are so bad, too. That was good. You just laughed at it. I'm, you're like, okay, fuck you. Uh, you got me. You tricked me into laughing. Who's got a bitch it. other than you? Sonkin, easily. Sonkin is such a bitch for last night. You know, he makes his way back through the tournament, gets to the grand finals on his return, oh. and then picks Lay. Picks Lay like an idiot. Like, yeah, I got all the way to the grand finals using these other characters, and I'm going to pick bootleg Lay and get rolled up 3-0. Then he switches, oh, you know what, my Lay wasn't good. Maybe I should go to my real characters? Nah. I'm going to try out Bob. Gets rolled up 3-0. Tournament over. Sonkin's a bitch. That's it. Idiot. Yeah, uh, he's a multi-talented uh, bitch because he. I'm calling him a bitch, not for anything you said. Totally unrelated. <laughs> Just because he's trying to give me shit for not entering Tekken. I mean, you know, Tekken got eight entrants at Wednesday Night Fights. I'm not the only one, but I'm the only one getting shit from him for it. You know, fuck you. You know, fuck you. All right, you suck and you're whack. Mm -hmm. uh, he's my bitch calling. And Casey Tron and the other girl, Juggles McGill Cuddy or whatever, they're my reverse bitch calling. What? Uh, dude, they've inspired all this uh, thinking, you know? Who knows? They could be the catalyst. They could be our muse. What happens if we do the prostitute twister, you know? Charles Damn. Charles could be the national champion. It'll be like that guy, uh, and, uh, Andy Kaufman. Remember Andy Kaufman and Jerry the King Lawler, how Andy Kaufman used to wrestle women and he was like the Memphis, Tennessee champ or whatever? Yeah, someone's neck got broken, right? I don't know. I, was I don't know if that was real. Don't you know, like, they always thought that <laughs> yeah. Kaufman was such a prankster that they didn't even believe him when he died? That guy yeah. was so sick. Oh, God. <laughs> that guy was so sick. Andy Kaufman, the legend. Anyway, uh, all right, so we, we both are harmonious on our bitch calling. Something. DDR stream. Yeah, why not? But DDR then we'll get <laughs> muted. <laughs> Who cares about mutes? Yeah, I guess it's a visual true. interaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. All right, yeah, well, true. that wraps it up. Are you streaming any more tonight? Maybe we'll see. Well, I'll be back. Oh, later. dude, you know what that reminds me, man? What? So I realized this yesterday. Um, because last night you streamed Hearthstone at yeah. like three a.m. Right? Mm -hmm. I got I got an email about that. I was like, okay, cool, you're streaming Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, you know, this afternoon I was going to stream earlier, and I was like, that's weird. Eris isn't streaming yet. You know, I haven't gotten an email. Uh -huh. And I realized it's because Twitch's email thing is set to once per day. Like, that's what it defaults really? to. Really? So because you stream more than once per day, people won't get another email about your streaming. And so even though I had seen your stream yesterday, you know what I mean? Like, technically yesterday, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, they weren't going to email me again when you went live 12, 14 hours later. So if you stream at, like, say, 2 p.m., right, and you stream on, the next day you come back, you stream at 1 p.m., no one is getting an email. <laughs> so I waste my email at 3 a.m. Is Basically. what you're saying. Well, depending on when they last got an email about you streaming. You know That's what I mean? It's retarded. I didn't it's know that. Hard. So basically, everyone in the chat, you have to change your Twitch settings to notify more than that wow. if you want to catch up with everyone else, you know, because that's probably why you're not getting email notifications. I only realized it last night, and I've obviously been doing this for a while, too. So That yeah. explains quite a bit. There are, there's another thing. You know Twitch has a messenger. Like, you can get messages on Twitch, right? Yes. Okay, you know that that messenger has a trash box? It's got like an other or something. Yeah, it's like yeah. a yeah trash box. That's like where everything is. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I just I, hit I, that I, shit I, up <laughs> and there are six-month-old like, Eris, yeah. you got to check this out. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> whoops, trash box, huh? Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, and, you know, I've noticed this too. This might be a bug or something, but while you're streaming, you get ads all the time. Like yeah, it's, what the hell is that about? I don't know what that's about, but you better get it sorted out because it's right in the middle of everything. You'll just it's get only an on ad. My stream, not in your stream? I don't think I've had that problem on my stream. But maybe it's a setting that you have that automatically plays ads every once in a while. I mean, I haven't streamed in a while, and unless they put something in like that, I haven't heard about it. It definitely is the case. Like, you'll just be playing, and that shit will show an ad during your stream, like right it's when not... you're talking. Yeah, I definitely know. And people are complaining about it in the chat. Oh, yeah. Too, so. I mean, I've seen people do it, but I just assumed that that was just Twitch doing Twitch stuff. Mm, I, I don't know if that happens to me. You'd have to ask the chat room because, you know, the people okay. that watch me stream usually they'll tell you. But I never get complaints about that. When I when I take my stretch breaks, that's when I show my ads. But mm -hmm. other than that, when I'm playing, I don't think I get unwanted ads, even though I think that Twitch by default shows pre-roll ads. Right. Like, yeah. 
-hmm. you show up in the channel, it'll show you an right. ad. But other than that, I mean, I was chilling on your channel for like ever, and then it showed an ad. So it was like, that's not a pre-roll ad. So I don't know. What the fuck? These are all different things it's that we gotta like get sorted. Bullshit out. Time Warner, dude. Do you have an Eris modem? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, Time Warner. I used to talk shit about them. They, mm -hmm. I was telling Charles, I couldn't be happier with them now. I mean, the <laughs> last time they brought a guy out, he was cool as fuck. He fixed everything for me, and then they've had great service ever since. Since we got the upgrade, this guy's still getting tossed by the fucking kangaroo or whatever. Yeah, that I'm shit still is. looking at it too. <laughs> <laughs> Giant swing into the wall. Dude. Boom. Walk anyway, on. yeah, I don't know. These are all things we need to get sorted out. But yep. That one email a day thing's bullshit. Internet, if yep. you guys want to catch all my streams and get uh, emails as well as rips, make sure you change that. I didn't know about it. I stream multiple times a day. So, mm -hmm. And the first time on the calendar day that I stream is sometimes at 3 a.m. So, yeah. you know, that's bullshit. I didn't know that. That's fucked up. Anyway, that right. wraps things up, Internet. Uh, thanks for tuning in. It's been, a, it's been a slow week, but we'll be back next week, perhaps with Main Man, perhaps with something else. We'll see I won't. what happens. Rip won't. He's going to be at the beach uh, chilling with his shoes off, but I'll be back. I'm not going to any beaches. I don't even fucking like the <laughs> beach. It stinks. Take it easy, Internet. See you guys later on. <laughs>